God is doing something in Africa that is phenomenal. As a man of God, I was sharing with a few people back in Lagos. I'm seeing the formation of a cloud that once happened before we came to the scene. There is a cloud that is gathering again. God is moving in a way, perhaps not exact, but a way similar to what he has done before. Maybe before some of us were born, but he's coming again. And we are seeing the formation of that prophetic cloud gathering from region to region, gathering from nation to nation, gathering from continent to continent. Perhaps could it be the formation for the last move of God before Jesus returns? I doubt that there will be many, many other moves. The signs are already showing that we are wrapping up. It is true. But we are seeing a heavy cloud that is forming. And this cloud is going to pour out rain. That rain is not going to be little. That rain will last. Hallelujah. It is true. This is not a cloud that is just forming. Just No, 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 no. This one is beyond the fist of a man's hand. It is a very mighty thick cloud. The Spirit of God Himself is gathering that cloud. It's a mighty rain of revival. It's a mighty rain of outpouring. It's a mighty rain of awakenings. It is the reenacting of Ezekiel 37 again. And I have seen this many times in my visions. In 2005, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the continent of Asia. I saw fire just like a single candlestick. And I saw many Chinese young people and it came upon one, just one person. And it began to spread, began to spread, began to spread. You see, I have seen the same formation in Africa. Because this is a continent that will present Christ to the world before Jesus returns. It is in prophecy. It is true. And if you are here gathered tonight, let me tell you, it is because there is something within your spirit. Tonight, deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Doesn't matter whether you are a male or female. Doesn't matter whether you are young or old. It is a prophetic formation over something mighty that God is doing. And we are glad that we will be witnessing this in our lifetime. The fathers, in the next 10 to 20 years, the truth is that for the fathers, the cloud is already shifting. They are already seeing the signs. There are chariots ready to come and pick them. It will not be immediate, but it will not be very long. There is a baton in the spirit, a transference, genuine, authentic graces and mantles over the next decade. Hear me, I'm saying this by the spirit of prophecy, that over the next 10 years, there will be a prophetic transition within the body of Christ. There are many, others have gone, still within the decade men like reinhard bonke men like tl osborne pat robinson left this year maurice sorulo they have gone our fathers in nigeria are still here because of their covenant of long life they will still be here for a while but it will not be for too long they know it we know it so there is a transition in the spirit. And Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me, if you can see me, if you will not lose focus and see me. But you see, it is not only a handing over of mantles that will be happening. There are other mantles that could not be handed over because there were no faithful vessels to carry it. And when the carriers were old, 
all those who were in front of them were in the order of Gehazi and Judas so they could not hand over the mantle and many of them died with the mantles but you see mantles don't go back to heaven no that means they are somewhere being preserved by the spirit of grace waiting for vessels that will become fit and dexterous listen you will see mantles that we have not seen in the body of Christ maybe for the last hundred years I pray we have the grace to receive them you will see people walk in mantles that the last person who walked in it was written in the Bible and you are wondering where did this grace come from this blend of spiritual formation where is this one coming from I have seen this and it will happen Like you to pray one prayer whilst you are seated father i am available available to be the esther of my generation available to be the gideon available to be the roof the naomi available to be the elijah shadeka salaka Go ahead and pray. You're not wasting your time. This is a prophetic and an apostolic ministry. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Staring in the spirit, don't waste it. Take a few minutes to pray in the spirit. We see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, a mighty formation in the spirit. I 
This is Koinonia. Ale paraso brande belengo tasa braga di balatusiata. The spirit man is getting enlarged. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated if you can. And so all across the globe, there is a mighty formation. If you are not aware of this, it is because you are not spiritual. The Bible says these days will be like the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, there were two groups of people. They were those who understood what God was doing and they were participating in the building of the ark and they were the mockers and the naysayers completely disinterested but the Bible says it was God himself that came to shut the door and when he shut the door the flood came and everyone who was not in that act of safety died everyone hallelujah one of the graces that the apostolic ministry enjoys is access to the dealings of god per season per dispensation so that you understand what god is doing and then you can interpret what god is doing and help his people prepare so that when he comes in that regard they are vessels that are prepared to be mightily used by him i have a brief charge tonight and the title of my message is this is the generation this is the generation i'm teaching tonight on the making of mighty men i want to show you from scripture how men become mighty in the spirit i want to show you how people become of weight and stature in the spirit and if you pay attention to what you are learning tonight you will become such a mighty vessel this is the generation mm. I wonder how we're going to go today. Hey, Shabarus Kadia, Krataka Tabalako Sabrenda Gebalash, Krapatos Sabre Kadi Balato Shabris, Embrege Bereko Shabras Katabalais Kiambara Sobiata Segedesh. Rata bareza de belen taski balakus yata. Rais kanina mahashena mende gebarotos kotovraskia. Imbra kata di balasa na nasha baratos kabiata. Praige de belede sabaranto sovraski balikapa. Imbra teka baratos koto prati balakus sabrist. Skadi balega de prata kata fraska da balanda gebarus yate. Help us, Spirit of the Living God. Okay, please be seated. 